Hello everyone, I'm so sorry it took me like literally forever to finally kind of like start vlogging again. I feel like um, it kind of took me like a whole day because I was like packing the other day and then we were coming through and then Henry threw up on the in the car while we were bringing him back to Connecticut. But yes, I am here in Connecticut with Henry. Oh, want a joy? Ooh, I totally got him with this toy. Come here. Right here. Right here. There we go. So, are you ready? Anyways, so I'm back home in the house that I grew up in. Um, I had to abandon my New York apartment um, just because the coronavirus is just getting so bad. And like every single day, I hear that, like, this many people have it, and the next day like literally hundreds and hundreds more get worse and I honestly really 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 didn't want to leave my apartment in New York because I didn't really think that I was putting myself at risk at any point um but you know my parents really wanted me to be here and after going back and forth probably 500 million thousand times um yeah that is just what this is this is what the outcome is so i will be here for probably an indefinite amount of time depending on when new york opens up since tonight i know that they said sunday night they're going to put new york on lockdown so that means that we i left right before they did lockdown so until they open up again and i guess until they feel like it's okay for people to be out and about um i will unfortunately be staying here in Connecticut. Um, if you are wondering what is going on back here, I just want to let you know that while I moved to New York, my room got transformed into my dad's vinyl collection. So this is my dad's vinyl collection. And literally the only thing in here is his vinyl collection and my bed and like a sofa and a mirror and that's about it. So um, we've manifested it with all of Henry's toys. There are more like lying around that way we have like his bed and like his food his litter and his everything here um just so that at nighttime i can close the door and keep him inside since he's never been in like a house like he's only been in an apartment so it's, it's this is very new for him so i'm still trying to like get him used to being in the space and then i think maybe tomorrow or the next day i'll let him kind of like venture out um but yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a little update as to what's going on over here. So because um, we ended up changing my room into the vinyl collection, I actually have literally no desks to sit here. So this chair with my pajamas, this is going to be my desk where I do all my work and editing. And I just took out more of Henry's toys. So honestly, this is just like a playroom for Henry, I feel like. Henry! Hello! How are you holding up? I will say he's not used to the amount of sunlight that comes into like the room since my apartment doesn't really have any sunlight that comes in so that's probably the best part. The only really good part about being home, the amount of sunlight. <laughs> oh there he goes, he's on the hunt. So we are in a new position in the same room, still editing because I don't know why it's taking me so long, but I only finished my first round. I still have to go through my second, and then I have to go my third and music. Oh, here's Henry. Henry, come here. Stretch. Oh, stretching. Very nice. Very nice. You guys, look at Henry. <laughs> Look at his face. I can't. So funny. Oh, me sleepy. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> you guys, I was working and look at my little Henry. He's like passed out. Oh my god, is he staring at us? He is. You guys would never believe what's happening right now. It's literally snowing. That's snow. Do you see the date? It's March 23rd and literally tomorrow it's going to be 56 degrees. 
What's going on? You guys, look how crazy this is. It's literally straight up snowing like crazy outside. That's a lot of snow. I've been in Connecticut for the past three days um, and I have been staying in my room with Henry because I set up his food right there and his litter box which is right there and after having just like staying in this room um, I was trying to contemplate whether I wanted him to explore outside the room only because I obviously want him to go see around but um, the house is quite large for a cat that's only been in a studio apartment um but after putting a lot of thought into it it might be better for him especially if he's going to be here for an indefinite amount of time so right now i have decided that today this second is the time that i'm going to release him out into the open which is something that he really 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 wanted so let's see how this goes henry henry are you ready are you ready to go explore? Oh, you want to say hi? Be free. He's literally about to jump down to the second floor, which is exactly what I was scared of. This cat has never seen stairs. This is really problematic. I'm not okay with him going up and down stairs right now. this thing on tiktok and i want to see if i can recreate it with henry but i don't know if it's going to be successful so let's try This never happens. Henry's passed out and I'm stroking his little foot while watching movies. How cute is that? Oh no. Oh, now he wants this one. Oh. <laughs> That's so cute. Do you guys see this guy here? He's literally leaning on his arm. And I also am sorry that I am continuously wearing a black shirt this whole entire week so you can't really even tell if yesterday or today was on a different day or not. So, you know, you gotta just look at the date and I guess 
just know through that. But hey, next week, it's going to be a white t-shirt. <laughs> You guys get to have me with my hair down for a minute. Um, I've been working for a little bit. I just finished a meeting and Henry will not stop meowing because nobody is in the house. It's like the first time that I'm home alone since I came to Connecticut. And thank God for it, honestly. Um, he doesn't really like to explore the house when other people are home. So this morning when I let him out, he was just having the time of his life. So I think he kind of wants to explore more. He's giving me a... He's giving me a little bit of an attitude right now. So I just got to end work early actually. So right now I'm thinking while well, it's bright outside, should I take a walk or should I just do my indoor exercise? Still being very moody. Henry! He's so moody. I open the door, he won't leave. I close the door, he wants to go. Like I just don't know what to do. Okay, okay, mister. You and your attitude need to chill a little bit. Okay? Oh my god, he's causing trouble in the corner. So, okay, I will be back. So I'm currently outside of my house, as you guys can tell. Um, and it's 63 degrees outside, so I was like, why am I just sitting at home? Like, if it was like 50s, I wouldn't have left. But like, because it's like 60s, I'm like, fine, I'll go on a walk. I haven't gotten some like natural vitamin D. So I think I'm gonna just take a walk along the neighborhood. I probably haven't been around this neighborhood in like five years? No, maybe? I like really, whenever I come home, I really just stay home. So I guess it'll be an adventure together. Here's a problem, you guys. In my neighborhood, there's no sidewalks. So literally, we are on the road. You, like, literally, look. No sidewalk in the middle of the road. So I just finished my walk. Ooh. Well, first of all, there was a squirrel, but look at this sunlight. I love it. Um, but anyways, I just finished my walk. It's getting cold. So I am going to go back inside. But yeah, that was my wonderful walk.